Do you have an Etsy shop and want to start taking professional photograph of your product at home without having to invest a ton? Well, it is completely possible to set up a home studio and do that. So let me show you how. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and how to make more money online. If you're interested in these topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. Now I've been taking my Etsy product photographs and Amazon product photographs at home since forever because I didn't want to invest in a product photographer and I even offer these as a services as product photographer myself on Fiverr successfully for Amazon sellers, all by using a home-built studio. Now let me share exactly what I did and how I did it to make that happen. The first thing you want to do is think of the gear that you'll be using to take these photographs. Do you want to use your DSLR camera, invest in a proper lens? Do you want to use your smartphone on your tablet? Think of what you'll be using to take these photos. You can find all the gear that I'm using or have used before in the description below and also find a bunch more product recommendations for your home studio. The second most important thing when taking product photographs, especially at home, is lighting. Lighting is one of the most important aspects when it comes to product photography or photography in general. So you wanna make sure your products are well lit when you're shooting those photos. And for that, I suggest either getting to soft boxes from Amazon to umbrella lights, or if you don't wanna invest in that right now, just place your object in front of a window, a well lit window, when you're taking those photos. And now the third Thing that you'll be using is the background for these product photos for these home studio photos for that all i did is use a carton paper that is white and big enough to fit my product and for the margins to fit the product in the frame as well so i chose an a2 carton paper in white or you can choose different colors as well so you want to make sure that it fits your product well enough especially if you're shooting larger products once your small studio is well set up it is time to adjust your camera settings to take the best product photograph and one of the most important things you want to do is take multiple images with different settings until you find the ones that make your product stand out the best and look the best in the photos. If you are using your phone to take these photographs, I suggest using a tripod and remote control to take the photo so you won't move the phone while taking these so they won't be blurry. Before taking the photo, make sure to adjust the lighting by touching the screen and focusing on the product. After taking all of your photos in your home studio, make sure to download them into one device only and edit them there and then upload them to Etsy from there so you won't have to move them through WhatsApp or through any other apps, emails and stuff like that because that can cause losing quality. And then my best tips for editing these types of product photos is to edit them in Lightroom and only edit exposure, clarity and other settings and don't work on the colors, on the temperature of the image because that can change how the real colors of the product look in the image. Remember, if you want to create a seamless white background photo, you can use the Canva Pro Editor to completely remove the background for your photo without having to spend time to clean it in Photoshop. For any other images that you want to take in your home studio, such as social media images with props or lifestyle images, I suggest getting those in different color backgrounds if you want and arranging them to fit your product and to fit your brand style and then take the photos by adjusting the camera settings as well and seeing what works best for those types of photos. So it is all about experimenting and taking photos until you find the right settings for your product. Especially if you're shooting smaller objects, you can change the lens to a macro lens and always experiment with different types of props to create the best photos for your business. So there you go, this is how you create a home studio and take your Etsy product photos at home. If you need any more tips or advice or just have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more of these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button below. You can also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Lidia.IngamiSuccess for more such content on growing online with social media and making more money online. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.